Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The characters in the novel are The themes of the novel are Good Omens is a hilarious and witty novel written by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett. The story revolves around an angel named Aziraphale and a demon named Crowley who have grown quite fond of Earth and its quirks. However, they're faced with a dilemma when they learn that the apocalypse is approaching, and they've grown rather attached to the world. The authors use a blend of humor and satire to explore themes of good and evil, free will, and the absurdity of certain human behaviors. The characters, both celestial and earthly, are well-developed and add depth to the narrative. The book is a delightful and thought-provoking read, combining fantasy elements with a unique perspective on the human experience. Overall, Good Omens is a light-hearted yet insightful exploration of morality and the peculiarities of our world. The novel starts with an introduction to the angel Aziraphale and the demon Crowley, who have been living on Earth since the beginning of time. They have grown accustomed to human life and have developed a sort of friendship despite their opposing natures. They both work to ensure that the prophecy of the end times comes to fruition, but as they become more attached to Earth, they begin to question whether they truly want the end of the world to happen. The story then introduces us to the Antichrist, who is born to a seemingly ordinary couple in rural England. However, due to a mix-up at the hospital, the Antichrist is raised by a normal family instead of the wealthy and powerful one he was intended for. As he grows up, the Antichrist, named Adam, becomes friends with a group of kids in his neighborhood and leads a fairly normal life, unaware of his true identity. Meanwhile, Aziraphale and Crowley discover that the Antichrist is alive and well on Earth. They consult the prophecies and realize that the time of the apocalypse is near. However, they also learned that there was a mix-up at the hospital, and the Antichrist is not where he is supposed to be. This sets off a chain of events as they try to locate the Antichrist and ensure that he fulfills his destiny. As the end times approach, the four horsemen of the apocalypse begin to gather. War, famine, pollution, and death prepare to unleash chaos upon the world. However, they find themselves facing unexpected obstacles as they try to carry out their mission. War struggles with the concept of modern warfare, famine finds that people are not starving as much as they used to, pollution is dismayed by the state of the environment, and death becomes distracted by his fascination with humans. Meanwhile, a group of witchfinders led by the eccentric Sergeant Shadwell is also on the hunt for the Antichrist. They believe that he is the key to preventing the end of the world and will stop at nothing to find him. Along the way, they encounter a young psychic named Anathema Device, who possesses a book of prophecies that could hold the key to stopping the apocalypse. Adam and his friends, known as the Them, stumble upon the truth about Adam's identity and realize that he is the Antichrist. However, they struggle to understand what this means and how it will affect their lives. Despite this, they remain loyal to Adam and vow to stick by him no matter what. As the forces of good and evil converge on Adam's hometown, a final showdown ensues. Aziraphale and Crowley must choose whether to side with their respective sides or try to stop the apocalypse altogether. Adam, armed with the knowledge of his true identity, must also make a choice that will determine the fate of the world. In the end, Adam decides to reject his destiny as the Antichrist and instead chooses to save the world. With the help of his friends and the unlikely alliance of Aziraphale and Crowley, he thwarts the plans of both heaven and hell and prevents the apocalypse from happening. The world is saved, and Aziraphale and Crowley continue their unlikely friendship, knowing that they have both played a part in shaping the course of history. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.